What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Okay, uh, BFF episode, no Josh, we don't know where he is. He's missing he's in action. Yeah, he's, I'm in, I'm all suited up in Arizona, we got an announcement coming up. And frankly, the lighting I think is making me look gross, so I should have skipped this one. But it is what it is. So it's just me and Bree. Um, we have a Thomas Petro interview, and we'll go through uh, the highlights on, in TikTok world. So we get the first teaser of Addison's movie, um, which have you seen it yet, Bree? Yeah, the, she seems like the only person on TikTok that can actually act. It was actually impressive. Okay, let's see it. I haven't seen it. Makeovers are my thing. I will create the next prom king. No, but I do think it'll be fun watching you try. A bet? <laughs> we'll pick the guy. He is a total disaster. Weird. Antisocial. I don't want to stare at your underwear while I eat. Dirt bags. Just wait and time. It's so short. That's like the only small clip that they've put out about it. They tried to get a guy who's not going to be good looking, but he's even good looking when he's not supposed to be good looking. I know. That's what they like do. You yeah, well, that transformation did nothing for me. I guess I don't know. I've no. That was a two-second teaser, so I don't know what the fuck we supposed to get from that. Um, again, Bryce loves kissing the homies. We talked about this last episode. He's I doing guess it again. He's it, doing it again. I I don't. I think it's just a bit at this point where he's kissing as many people as he can. All right, and we have Tana's friend Ar Ari and Bryce kissing. So Tana's this is friend. like the sus one that everyone's like, okay, maybe he actually has something going on. Because they kissed like four times. Yeah, and it was like a paparazzi video. But there, so there was like rumors. I don't know how true it is. I wish Josh was here to ask him. But on Musical.ly, apparently Bryce, I don't know if this is true, but came out as bisexual. So everyone, all the comments are like, this is already known, like Bryce is bi, why is everyone surprised? But I don't know how true it is. I mean, I, I'm going to say maybe he's slightly bi, I could care less, but like, you know, I'm a guy who grew up, I just didn't go around kissing my buddies on the lips. Like, it's just not something we did. Yeah, it's a new world. So I don't know if he's bi or this is just a new trend where you kiss your homies. Here's a news outlet reacting to it. And then when we get back to New York, we need to contact um, Leslie to see what she can do to minimize the press. So this is oh, the guy yes. that he was kissing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another divorce. That guy looks bi. Is that bad to say? No, I think he is like openly gay. He's a one of Tana's good friends. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. So maybe who fucking knows? I, I mean, who cares if it's a bit, you know, was he kissing Harry Josie? Yeah, now Harry Josie's in on it. They're all kissing. It's kind of yeah, crazy. But Harry Josie makes me think it's a bit because I, he's definitely straight, but he's also like, I'm going to do whatever to be the in the headlines. farmer, yeah. Yeah, he has a little bit of Tana in him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, if he's looking around be like, oh, people are talking about Bryce kissing dudes on the list, guess what? I'm going to get in that game. I'm going to start kissing. Like, Harry Josie will do it. Harry Josie... I think would fuck if he if he thought he could get page views. Like <laughs> I that's think so his game. Too. I think he would too. One hundred percent. It's just for for clout. Okay. So uh, and then this is turning into the Bryce show. I Riley know. Riley and Bryce updates. Addison comment arise. IG post. Fans speculate Bryce, Bryce's tweet is about her doing so. Um, yeah. So Riley's Instagram caption was, you are such a waste of time. And then Addison liked it and commented on it. Your eyes. Whoa. So people think that her Instagram caption was about Bryce. Got it. Mm -hmm. It probably was, right? Seems like it. But then Bryce tweets, I wake up to a weird Insta caption. I'm being tagged in my ex commenting on it. Austin McBroom suggesting I fight Logan Paul. I'm never drinking again. So maybe he got drunk and did something towards Riley. And then she posted that. Why? Obviously, Bryce Hall is a waste of time if you're trying to have a serious relationship. <laughs> like, yeah, duh. Obviously. That's kind of a no-brainer. And, and what do you mean, Austin McBroom suggesting I fight Logan Paul? Logan Paul, he'd he kill Bryce. Yeah, he's like 10 times his size. And Bryce already got killed once. Like, I, I don't think Bryce is trying to say he's a great fighter. Um, we have specul... Oh, no. <laughs> speculation about Dixie and Noah's relationship. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Have it. This is Dear Bexters and Beckys. That's what. That's a great couple name. Yeah. That's yeah. their couple name. 
Baxter's and Becky's. I don't get it. Am I that stupid right now? Back, oh, I get oh back. okay. All right. I think I I think I understand what's going on. Okay. So Wait, what what is Becky's Dixie? Is, that's what? that's their like couple name. Like it's like if you're a, a stan of Noah and Dixie, yeah. like I well, think being together. No, I think Becky's it's just Noah sense. stands, isn't it? No, I think no Becky. Well, that's what I'm saying. Becky's. How does what does Becky's have to do with Dixie? So there was a YouTube video. There was a clip. I saw it. There was a clip on. I think this is might be what they're talking about. There was a clip um, where Noah was saying he wants to get married soon and have babies, and then his parents were in the video saying, "No, not with Dixie. Like you, you can't do that with Dixie." And all the comments were like, "Oh, it seems like." Uh, the parents hate Dixie and they shouldn't be together. So I think that's what the Dixie slander is. And they're like, Becky's back off of Dixie. I saw that this morning. I didn't think this was Noah is talking, what? Noah's gonna like, remember how old, Noah's talking about having babies? Yeah. What? He said once, yeah, it's it's in the car. Um, he said once he was financially stable, he wants to have children. And he's like, I'm finally financially stable. I want kids. He's 19, I think. Dude, what are you doing? 19, you want kids? Yeah, Once you're financially crazy. stable? I mean, who's he is, but like, who's financially stable at 19? Listen, I like this relationship. I'm not going to throw slander at it, but what are you talking about? And, and how does that video get published with the parents saying they don't like Dixie, or was that not what it really was? They didn't say they didn't like Dixie, but they were like, no, you and Dixie aren't ready for that, and all the comments oh, were Oh, yeah, like, no shit they're not ready yeah. for it. They're like fucking 14 years old. Exactly. You guys think I'm ready? No. 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 Come on. I mean, I'd, I want, I've always told myself I wanted a kid when I was, I would, I would be ready for a kid when I was financially stable. I think I've hit that point. Yeah, but you're not, emo you're not emotionally ready for a kid. Are you trying to tell us something? Kid. You need to put the brakes on it. Yeah. You want to live young Stop. while you can. You're kind of a douchebag. Wow, <laughs> Haley. I, I was but Noah would be the only one of those guys that's like ready to settle down and get married right now. I, like none a, of them are. I can't believe any of them would be. Um, all right, this is for us, Barstool Double Tap. Barstool, we're holding a talent search for all you people out there like, oh, how do I do BFFs or how do I work for Barstool or how to become famous? We're looking for the next star here. So we're holding talent search to find content creators to work for us. Um, so I guess here's the instructions. Do we have it here? You post an original TikTok on your page by Monday, August 9th. Use the hashtag Barstool Search in the caption. Encourage people to double tap your video. Tag Barstool Sports in the comments. The higher the engagement, more views you'll get. And we're reaching out uh, for all the people um, that we're looking for. And after the first round, judges at Barstool will pick creators to move on, compete in different challenges until the double tap winner is approved. I believe you get a job. Yeah, I think it's like a full-time job here at Barstool. So It's kind of like Barstool Idol. That's how I ended up here on TikTok. So it's a, it's a good contest to enter. Yep. Maybe we'll get them on the show or like at least like show some of the videos that are going on. Yeah, for the yeah like the best too. ones. We'll put them on BFF. Right. There's yes. like a little sizzle if you guys want to watch the video watch attached the to the. Who made this sizzle? I have probably somebody on the video team. Stop absolutely everything you're doing right now. Your chance to work at Barstool Sports is here. So then she tells me it's either her or the bar. Was Tia. My pussy pitsy, I fuck them like porn stars. Ooh. And we're launching our newest TikTok talent search competition called Barstool Double Tap. All you have to do to enter is post an original TikTok, and that's it. Shake your body, baby girl, make your goal sign it. Two kids in Zoom school, they tell her that she's uncool. You gotta hashtag Barstool Search in your caption and get absolutely everyone you know to double tap that video and tag Barstool Sports in the comments. That's it. The higher the engagement, the higher your chances of getting picked. I don't know what you're still doing here. You only have until Monday, August 9th. Go! Sweet. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, I don't know what I thought of Sizzle Reel, but it is pretty straightforward. And we have high. We have uh, Bree. We got Little Sass. Mm -hmm. I guess those are only our two TikTok people, that right, that we've hired? Yeah, I would say so. Little Sass kind of Twitter, too. Yeah. 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 We need some more um, TikTokers. Ooh, videos to react to. Jeff Wittick uses Bree's voice. Yeah. I, I, have you seen this? I take it you have. Yeah. Tell them everything's going to be fine. Just film everything. Make a nice six-part docu-series out of it. I'm selling them milk it. <laughs> Not milk it. I, look, I, I didn't make a single dime from the fucking YouTube videos. All right? They age-restricted everything, demonetized everything. They fuck, copyrighted. I used copyrighted music. That was not the intention. I want to make an inspiration. There's that little part right there. 
I, I that went so fast I didn't even fucking realize. I know, right? It's watching? like he played it while he was talking. I'm gonna milk it. <laughs> Not milk it. I, look, I, I didn't make a single dime from the fucking YouTube videos. All right, they age restricted everything, Milking demonetized the everything. They fuck. Got it. <laughs> Got it, got it, got it, got it. So he's kind of playing along now. Then. Yeah, I think he. I don't think he really cares. There's no way anymore. I I feel like super self conscious with that setup that he has, and I'm like just sitting and like it looks like I'm getting interrogated, <laughs> <in> fucking Tehran <laughs> you, or something. You do look like you're getting interrogated with your <laughs> suit on. <laughs> Big time suit, the like white walls. Um, <laughs> Barstool employee drives a Ferrari 488 oh, Spider. Wait, wait, look who it is. Oh, oh we got look our guy. who's here. Hey, what's up, guys? What happened, Josh? Look at the the, the clock here at eight fifty five. Yeah, yeah. Um, my I, I just I was just I just fucked up. <laughs> There's really nothing to say. I just messed up my Wednesday calendar with my Tuesday calendar last night, and I was like, all right, so I got to get up at nine. Got to go to this this meeting with like some company. I was like, I'll be good. Yeah, wasn't good. Wasn't good. Where are you? I'm in I'm in the new house we just moved into. So do they do they know you're not coming to the other place? Um, I, yeah, I think that's what Katie's doing right now. <laughs> Got it. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, good morning. Welcome. We're almost done, but Thanks. welcome to the show. We're, we're you're looking we're, pretty fly. You're looking pretty I, pretty I, spiffy. I, yeah, I feel like I look gross. I said at the beginning, it's like the lighting. I, I'm not loving like this this like hmm. fucking interrogation look. But we have yeah, I have a press conference I gotta go to right after this. Um, okay. All right, Barstool, welcome to the show, Josh Richards. Thanks, so, thanks. Bar- you want to talk Bar- about the the press conference, Dave? Since this isn't coming out till tomorrow, or no? Well, yeah, we can. We're sponsoring, which is a big deal for us. We're sponsoring a bowl game, the Arizona Bowl. So it's going to be the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl. Um, That's and sick. we have the press conference. Yeah, so we control, and not only are we sponsoring it. We control like all the broadcast rights, so we get to pick who. Like we can be in the booth. the The number one thing we already have: Big Cat is gonna jump out of a plane with the American flag and then land and sing the national anthem. That's so awesome! That, is that real? Is that yeah. like for no, real? Like par- real, real. like parachute? Yeah. Holy shit! He's gonna be on like shit. the back of like a guy. <laughs> yeah, we got a bunch of shit we're gonna do. We can do whatever <laughs> we want. We control like the entire game. So that is that's, yeah, awesome. that's that's almost as cool. That's almost as cool as you guys uh, sponsoring the little volleyball team that I'm joining for the six man tournament on Friday. Did you hear about that? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I texted Kareem. I texted Kareem. So me and all the boys were at uh, what what is this El Sombrero? We were at this restaurant. Me and like a couple of my friends that are just like young guys playing in the NHL. Shout out like Brendan Brisson, Jack Blake. Um, but we were all down there and uh, I saw this flyer for this six man, like volleyball tournament. So I look at Gab and I was like, Hey, we should probably join that tournament. And all the boys are kind of like laughing, like thinking I'm kidding. And then me and Gab are like, no, like we're going to join the tournament. So we all signed up and we're repping like BFF, uh, shirts for the top. So we're like team BFS or something like that. I love it. I Let's didn't know. Go. Yeah. That's Friday. Well, yeah, it's Friday, Friday. So it's gonna be a gonna be a good good amount of fun. We had some guy come up to us and he was like, "Yeah, I'm playing in the six, man. You guys are fucking toast." And we were like, <laughs> "It's like, like serious." Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he plays like D one volleyball. We were all looking at each other. We're like, "All right, man. Like we're probably signed up for gonna... fun." Yeah, yeah we dude, you're probably right. But hey, we'll have the most heart out there. No one can beat us in heart. There's no way. Uh, yeah, that's like we hard. had a, a Barstool basketball team and like not even the highest level. And I don't think they won a game. Like they're like <laughs> 0 and 10 or something. Um, all right, back to the videos here. Barstool employee drives a Ferrari 488 Spider. Hey, excuse me. I love your car. What do you do for a living? Um, I guess I respond to the right DMs. Respond to the right DMs? Yeah. For real? <laughs> no, I work for a sports company. Oh, dope. Uh, what company? Barstool. Barstool Sports? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Thank I you. appreciate it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. See ya. Just full cap, right? Ah, uh, full cap. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So I've been on that sh- guy's like thing. He sets it up. Uh, so like he'll be like, hey, you want to do this? It's not just a random meeting. So he must have reached out I, I to don't think. I don't think he always does that, man. One, uh, I've had a person just walk up to my window before and been like, hey, what car do you drive? Him? I don't know if it was him specifically, but it sounded like him. Like, I mean, like, I assumed it was him. That kid's like pretty big on TikTok. I, I yeah. think. Yeah, prob- yeah, yeah. But it was, it was a while ago. Like, I mean, this was like, 
probably like six months ago, maybe someone came up to me and was like, Hey, what car do you drive? And they did like all the same thing, like the exact same thing. I swear we're saying, I'm pretty sure I said like, aren't, I think aren't he like plans them oh. now. And like, yeah, I think he probably I started. I did a pizza review and he 100%. He's like, Hey, let's plan it. You do it here. I walk up. So I assume with him, I, Hannah doesn't drive a Ferrari. I don't know who's, I didn't talk to her after. So I don't know whose Ferrari that was. It's fucking not hers. Yeah. I feel like it was the guys. I wonder if he oh, just, just sets it up. Now. I <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. Say, I was gonna say he probably yeah like at first he was running it like ran into a couple celebrities and did it and then eventually yeah. it's like you're just gonna reach out to people because you're he's not running into like Hannah at like a hotel like yeah, that looked not, like a hotel like he was just yeah. sitting in a Ferrari in like a hotel lobby like <laughs> and Hannah those answers like she knew you could tell she knew they were coming. Like that wasn't, yeah. she wasn't like stuttering around. Like she knew what she was going to oh. say. That was a script. Yeah. yeah. Um, girl gets mysterious text. I have no idea. Chicken, please is. look at this filter. Oh. This makes your skin look good. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? So, he got the chicken in the beginning he's too. Stressed, bro. He's like, "Fuck the good kid." <laughs> Who's this DM coming from? Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't realize like I was minding my own business when she did that, uh, and I didn't realize because I'm not really on TikTok. I had no idea that's like a trend. Do you guys know that's like a thing people do? Yeah, it's it's funny. I've been seeing it. You're probably the only person that would fall for it, though. <laughs> Why? It like the, because everyone mean, else knows you have no idea what's going on on tiktok no i saw a bunch of them where like guys are getting like furious hers wasn't as but they like you can write in whatever you want she should have wrote that. something crazier I yeah wish oh, was wait, crazier. Yeah. wait 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 that was the filter yes. yeah it was the filter it like yes. you you pop up a message and she pretend like another guy texted her yes they, what if it said like skin was looking smooth i was like oh this guy's just got smooth skin and then he also <laughs> had yeah from his, like his girl also got a text i thought it was right. it was both things were going on she yeah, should have so made it extreme like like text me when you're done with dave kissy emoji or something yeah. like then it would have been then it, but that but then there may have been blood in the streets like i mean <laughs> Right. It wouldn't have looked. Then Dave wouldn't have looked like a good guy. Like he pulled off. He wouldn't last have night. believed it was, was a filter. A good guy move. Weirdly, <laughs> weirdly, Silvana was almost because she showed the others, and some people in the comments like he's pretty chill about it. Like he he does. He, and she's like almost reverse got mad at me that I didn't get mad. Didn't freak <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. you can never do enough, man. You can never do enough. If you got mad, it would have been like, why aren't you? Why aren't yeah. you okay with me having freedom? And then if you're like doing it. Why aren't you mad enough? Do you not care? Yeah, it was kind of in between. And I really was like, oh, my skin does look good in this filter. That must be it. It's like, I look really smooth right here. And I saw that. I'm like, what, what is that? That's literally what I was like. <laughs> it's a nasty filter, by the way. Like, when you say, oh. if, you, if you're not on TikTok, I don't, how do you ever know it's that's evil. Like fake? Yeah, yeah it's, it's super pretty evil. evil. That's yeah. Super a, evil. That's a heart herder. Yeah. Um, they always, I knew like girl gets mysterious texts. I, I didn't know it was that, but these are always like related to us. Famous exes. My mom knows nothing about pop culture. So I told her these are my ex-boyfriends. He looks nice. Yeah, he was nice. He's a little sad. What was he sad? What grade was that? <laughs> what, how old were you? Oh, when? fuck. He's a little older. He's into like, I don't know, the younger girls. Oh, oh man yeah. oh. not a good look <laughs> that, that, that's so bad like with that player. photo <laughs> they did me yeah. so dirty with they that did you're so that's dirty fucking ugly Dave look like era. A... i've never seen that picture of you that's that, a pretty crazy one that's like from the ugly dave era when jenna marbles they did like a story that's like in milton those are milton office days that's worse had... than the green shirt one i think we should yeah, start incorporating like, that, that is not worse than the green picture one but yeah it was like <laughs> they just came i hadn't done anything damn you put me up against like bieber and fucking drake with that picture that's tough man kisses <laughs> yeah. girlfriend it's just all on me now <laughs> That's my favorite video ever. <laughs> that dude stole that from us because someone sent it to me and I 
I responded to him like, just for the record, that's not me. I saw it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah because I retweeted. The girl resembles Silvana. So mm-hmm. it like sort of right. works. It right. was perfect. It was yeah. good. Yeah. I think let's kid wants ice cream. Let's hope this one moves to one of you two here. Oh shit! <laughs> I, didn't, I haven't seen oh, that. Oh, that's that's awesome! Wow, <laughs> that's getting creative. People are getting really jiggy with it now. They're getting jiggy with it. Damn, God that one it. hurts. That one hurts. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, uh, yeah. They always. Why do they BFFs always end? I'm like, oh, I'm getting through the pictures. I'm probably gonna be good this time. They blue balls me with it. And then they just go, wow, mallet I mean, on the blue balls, mallet on the blue balls. They just it. get you, attack you. Um, cold hearted every time. Those safe. are all the videos. We played a game, right, already? Yeah, but we should play this one, too, just to wrap things up. All right, just a so quick. Yeah, we should play another game. I all feel right. like I've been late on the games today. Okay, so answer the internet. Yeah, ATI, let's do it. All right, who is a music artist that everyone hypes up, but they actually suck? This is a loaded question. This is... We're gonna have so many people coming after us. I like. I think Kanye has sucked for a while. Oh, that's a great answer, actually. Like I, I like his old shit, his new shit. I, I haven't liked at all lately. He writes it in an hour and then puts it out. What well, about like, you, Josh? That's that's a hard one. Um, Jaden. I think I think a boogie with the hoodie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think about you. I think I used to really love like all of his shit. Like every album that would drop, I'd be like, I'd be listening to it. And then I feel like his last like couple had just been like, yeah. Or, like the last one, I was like, yeah. Okay, that's a good one. What about you, Bree? Mm, Playboy Cardi. Kind of think he's trash. Okay. Okay. What's next? Wow, you're gonna absolutely. I get know. It. That's why I didn't want to say it. But Dave it's is like, gonna too for Kanye. You cult following like they literally make music for him i know i know all right and then brie if you just want to read these instead of me screen sharing just because of josh's video it'll okay. be better so I can't see it. yeah uh what would be your walking song in a baseball game your walk out song in a baseball game mm. these are questions you gotta like, so, really think about i know walk out song i already i already had a walk out song for my baseball game what, what, what was, was it or i think it was um I think it was Forever by Drake. Okay. Yeah. Basic. I feel like a lot of people do that. It's a good one, though. Right. Fuck you, too. <laughs> it's a good one, though. I mean, I can't really think of anything, but uh, I love, like, Center Field by it's Jay Giles' band, I think. I'm dating myself. But it's is it is that the name of the song? I don't know. I just come out to silence. Oh, just set the... Set, Set the, the tone. tone. Yeah, no, silence. Let him know. Hey, mm-hmm. I'm here. On me, dog. Quiet. No, I just don't a mental game. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what song <laughs> I just picked. You just made up the fake a bad song. <laughs> Is it, I don't know if it's a song and I picked the wrong guy. It's John Fogarty. Center field, John Fogarty. All right, it's that's your walkout sick, song. That, it wouldn't be, but it's a sick baseball song. Okay. All right. What is a conspiracy theory that you 100% believe in? <laughs> 100 percent oh i believe in the um the sea world one what is it blackfish is that a conspiracy or is that just the truth it's just like a doc uh is that a conspiracy? Is that the truth? <laughs> what is blackfish it's like how how awful sea world treats all the animals yeah know? i think that's just true but i would I never watch that because true. i'm an animal guy yeah i cried that's the whole time it's pretty true. bad yeah i would never watch that the conspiracy i mean i like I think the JFK shit is like for sure some like conspiracy shit with that. Mm. Mm-hmm. The world's probably flat too, eh? Yeah, you're a flat earther. Flat earther? No, <laughs> not a chance. But uh, I think I think like the the moon landing kind of freaks me out sometimes because I feel like the like the wind is like blowing it. How's wind blowing in the in space? That's a good one. A lot of people believe in that one. That one freaks me out. I haven't looked a lot into it really any, but I yeah, I feel I like I just. 
What's like the advantage of tricking people that we like we're on the moon? That was just better a big, than like, Russia. Ha-ha. Right. It was just yeah, a little cold war. It was a little yeah. cold war move against beat, Russia. Beat Russia to it. All right. Yeah. A couple more. Okay. Uh, if you had to pick one person to be the ambassador for the human race to meet aliens, who would it be? So like if you would send someone up, who do you think would would be good to meet the aliens first? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton? You think everyone, he... lo- everyone loves Bill Clinton. Okay. Mm. What about sending like a like a personable, a nice funny guy up there? Seth Rogan. No, uh, no, he would not be a good ambassador. I feel like I feel like I feel like he might Charles just... Barkley? Everyone likes Barkley. He's funny. Who doesn't like Charles Barkley? I feel like there's a, an immense amount of people that might not like Charles Barkley. <laughs> really? Compared to like Gandhi, probably. Gandhi, though, Gandhi would get like taken for a fucking ride. I feel like he'd just agree to any. By the no, way, he'd I mean, leave with like the aliens. aliens. No, I'd leave with the aliens. I'd, I wouldn't send me. I'd go. Everyone, I'm very team alien. I'm on the record. Like if the aliens right. come, I would turn over all the human secrets in a second as long as they're like, you're my guy. <laughs> He'd be the human alien? Yeah. Yep. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. You just proved yourself. You're not for the humans. Well, I wouldn't wouldn't send me if I was a human because I will turn on you quick. (laughs) I'm sending Adam Sandler 100%. Okay. Adam Sandler, eh? Everyone loves I don't know. I think like maybe maybe Martha Stewart's got it personally. Oh, yeah. She's a cutie, but she's like hard if she has to be. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like jail time. Yeah. She's hard. All right. uh, What? What is an album that has zero skips? Lady Gaga, uh, Poker Face, Tam, done. Is that the name of the album? Poker I think Face? So. I think so. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a Gaga stan. Okay. Well, we've uh, done this on Barstool Radio, the greatest albums of all time. and The album is called The Fame, Dave, not Poker Face. Whatever. The all right, Kareem. <laughs> uh, Death right. Race to Love, This World. I could listen to that entire album. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye. Okay. No one said that. Popular Con- answer. I like Uzi's old uh, old album. I don't even know the name of it, though. Bad, look, listen, I'm just reading through here. Fame Monster, Lady Gaga, Bad Romance, Alejandro, Monster, Dance in the Dark, Telephone, um, Just Dance, Paparazzi, Poker Face. Are you kidding me? I those, mean, those that, are all monster hits. It's a loaded, it's a loaded one. Who else has I, one of those crazy albums? Isn't it Katy Perry that has like a ridiculous album or something? She like has that? probably. There's a, yeah, there's a couple out there that we've done. We we played that game. It's actually a good game for this show. You just play every. Well, we can't play the songs, but it'll oh, be yeah. like you say, skip or pass, banger or not. But yeah. Oh, that, acid that, rap, acid rap. Every song's a banger on that too. We could do that one day. It's just the episode wouldn't be monetized, but yeah, we can maybe figure it out. All right, last one. All right, last one. It will be. Name one restaurant you would never eat at even if you were starving. I'm going to get roasted for this, but I will not go to Taco Bell. (gasps) Really? Why? Can't have it because I know I'll get sick. No cheesy green No, you won't. I I know I don't do Taco Bell. I like pizza. What? Blaze Pizza? That's what I thought you were going to say. Yeah, that's no, I don't do Taco Bell. I just am like, ugh, Taco Bell. I don't know what they I I just I'm out. I've never had it. I've ever? never had never. You're missing out, honestly. And I like tacos. I like how do you know? How do you know you're not gonna like it? How do you I know just know? Stuck? I just know. It's no. I don't I I just know. And no, you can't you're missing out. out. Was it like a taco like 59 cents or something? Maybe back in the 80s yeah so 80s. that's like freaked me out it's like what do you mean it's 59 cents what is this fucking rat meat i'm like out maybe it right. don't awesome. gro- don't ruin taco bell for me i'm I just saying talk it is rat meat bro i'm mucking it it tastes it's so good it's so good I, listen i i know i know i it's like one of those things cows just, at the same time as eating tacos sounds like a i just i me. just don't do taco bell i just don't do it and, Wow. Taking, what about you, Josh? Taking care of New York's rat epidemic. Wow. Stop. I'm going to throw up. I'm actually going to throw up. I, I'm, and I'm sure it's not. It's just one of those things for whatever reason. As I, it's like, I just don't do it. I've done it all fast food. Right. I just don't do Taco Bell. All right. The country rallies around Taco Bell whenever there's like World Series. Like, it's like they steal a bag, you get a free taco. In the NBA finals, there was like, if you came back, the Suns came back one one game, and then everyone got free tacos. So I, I'm in the minority. I the people's taco, bro. Yeah. I also love 
Kentucky Fried Chicken, there were so many horror stories that started freaking myself out on Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I don't even they call it fried anymore. They just call it Kentucky Chicken, right? Or just they like, do? I thought they took out the fried. Dude, what? that's fucked up. Yeah, Kentucky, yeah, KFC kind of freaks me out a little bit too. I won't yeah. do that. I'll say probably Arby's is mine. I know oh, yeah, that's Arby's. gross. Checkers, Arby's have gross. you guys heard of Checkers? Yeah, I've heard of it. I see. Oh, I used to it. see it all the time in Ohio, and it just grossed me out. A White Castle there. kind of grosses me out. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that at all either. Do you eat McDonald's, yeah. Dave? Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you said no to that, that would have been. No, I'll, I'll 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 eat McDonald's. Uh, I'll eat all that. I mean, McDonald's, can, uh, Wendy's, I think is the best of that version, but I'll eat all of those. And I don't consider like in and out no, five guys. Best. Yeah, yeah. Wendy's is the Wendy's best. chicken Easy nuggets. Wow. But you don't awesome. you don't count you don't count like you don't count Shake Shack and that. Correct. You don't Different count category. Five. That's no. an elevated That's, category. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. That's not totally. fast food. Yeah. You guys have? Do you guys have A and W out here? Like no. not just mm-hmm. the root beer, like the actual burger chain A and W. No. 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 Wow. No. Do you have Canes, so- Josh? Canes. Yeah. Nah, but that's to- that's a total different category. That's too. a different category, I, but that's my I don't put favorite that in. ever. Yeah, that's, so. no, I'll drive forty five minutes outside of LA for Kane sometimes. I I'm fly to like, Ohio for Culver's right mindset. What Culver's? It's like Culver's is like a Midwest chain. It's very that, never it's had that. So good, Kareem. So good. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty like the ice cream there, the custard, or whatever it is. Fire. Mm-hmm. The South fire. has what? St- the steak. What steak and shake. Oh, steak and shake. Do yeah, steak like and shake. It. That's Do fire. Not like it. People talk about it. Up. No, I didn't love it. Oh, I like steak and shake. No, I didn't. I've been. It. I don't think I've been. Been to Five Guys. Been to Five Guys is very good. So good. Five Guys, five guys never disappoints. Steak. Five Guys great and how great all those are good. Shake Shack great, all those. Yeah. All yeah. right. There it is. That's BFF. We got yep. ten minutes, Josh. Yep. We and got then Thomas. The, the interview. We have the, the interview is good with Thomas. Yeah. All right. Uh, BFFs. Thomas mm. Petro. And I got I to be honest, I'm looking through here and, and we'll get all the background. Um, and I'm looking through the original Hype House roster and I'm just going through the sheets, like catching up on what I got to know because I'm new, relatively speaking to like TikTok and, you know, this whole world. The original Hype House, which you founded, this yeah. roster, Thomas Petro, Little Huddy, Charlie DeMaio, Dixie DeMaio, Addison Ray, Daisy Keach, Nick Austin, Alex Warren, etc. Outside of Nick Austin and Alex Warren, who I kind of don't know who they are, <laughs> the other people are like first ballot, Hall of Fame, as big as you get across the board. Yep. It's an amazing list. So I just had to start there. And you yeah. put this house together, you're a Team 10 guy. Got out yep. of Team 10 and started the Hype House. Can you just explain the background of like yeah, what made yeah. you come up with the idea bring, bring and where did you story. find these people? Yeah, um, so I wasn't really a part of Team 10. A lot of people think that, but I, I was friends with Jake at the time during the height of Team 10. And so when I was friends with him and over there, I kind of saw the way the business ran. And it was a very simple concept of like bring in talent, he took X percentage to help blow them up, give them opportunity to career, blah, blah, et cetera. The only thing that I saw wrong with that is that in LA and in Hollywood and these kids, when you take a percentage of someone, it doesn't matter what you do for them. Eventually they'll hate you. And I've noticed that with managers and agents, no matter what you, they will end up, you'll end up being the bad guy later down the road when they're ready to be like, I don't deserve this. I deserve better than you. I don't want to share my money with anyone or anything like that. So I was like, what if I take a different approach and I bring a bunch of people together? There's no percentages. There's no like agreements. You can do whatever you want, leave whenever you feel like it. Let's just bring a group of creators together that are doing well or blowing up. And then let's just take it from there. And I found Charlie when she had like 2000 followers on Instagram, Addison had like 8,000 followers on Instagram. And I just randomly reached out to them. And then Chase was also friends with Charlie. And so it just kind of worked out. Okay. So that's such an interesting idea to me because even barstool what we do we pay people on contracts they become popular hopefully and then it's like you know if you saw i don't know if you paid attention we had a very famous incident with call her daddy which was like an unknown podcast we signed with a three-year deal they tried to get out of it before alex just signed a 60 million dollar deal so kind of like that in a weird way it's an athlete model or a band model like a band is unsigned 
No one knows who they are. They sign a contract. They blow up. It's like, wait a minute. I, could, I don't need these guys anymore. So what was the advantage of you creating this house? Like, if, if you're not getting a percentage of these people, what are you yeah. getting? Well, what I was getting was an opportunity to be successful in this industry on my own which was like kind of a unique position because not being a manager, but while helping guide and manage these kids to try to help them get a better opportunity in their careers, I was offering that to them. And in exchange, they were building a brand that I was building. And on top of that, they were helping me build my career. So it was like a unique position because not many people were 21 fitting in with these kids, like creating content alongside with them. Most people who think of like that agent model think of it from a purely like percentage standpoint, I bring you brand deals, I make money. But I was like, I can make a lot more money being in this industry myself. And I know how to create content and I know how to network and I know how to be like a good person to these kids. So I came in and kind of helped mentor them. But I was like, I don't need anything from you. I was like, let's just try to build this thing up. And it's worked out well so far. So, so it was more like you bring them in and then you just build your clout together off each other. That's the transactional thing. Kind of, yeah. Right. And, and I mean, you, that's, it's like it's own, a content. And this house. is, I know, a yeah. source of controversy that we can get into. But you theoretically own Hype House, so you know, if someone leaves and comes in, you still can sell brand deals. Hype House. If someone wants to leave, you replace them. It's like almost yeah. a Saturday Night Live. Right. So you keep saying, "How old are you?" I'm 22 now. Okay, so what was the average? Because you're calling them like kids. So how much o- well, older? And not really <laughs> the kids. Like obviously, like we we have kids here, kids. Um, but Alex and Cover are 20 and 21. They're uh, friends that they brought up, Papper, uh, Patrick, Calvin. They're all like 22, 21. They're the same age as me. It's just I've kind of like taken on like a father figure type role for a lot of the people in the house just because they're lost. A lot of them are very lost, especially when they come out to LA. And I try to just be a good friend and try to help them with their relationships with everything. Like I've spent endless amounts of hours with everyone that was a part of hype house or is a part of hype house just helping them through their personal life and personal problems with their whether it's with their families or their friends or people trying to take advantage of them just trying to like help talk them through that and like so that's why i always say kids is just because i've tried to like be a big brother figure for most of these people so right, you've been out here the longest no like out of everyone in the house you would have been out in la the longest right yeah yeah i've lived here for four years right so that's that's where the the leadership comes in it's like you got the experience so josh i'm curious your take on this because you were somebody in the sway house so if you joined less you could have easily i guess theoretically been like hype house so what would your take be on the pitch that thomas just gave like here's what we're gonna give you and at sway is basically set up the same right way right it's like no one's getting you can come and go as you please if you sign with if you signed with talent x then you're signed with the talent management but we also had sway as well but we had kids that came into sway and would like do stuff with Sway and then they wouldn't have signed to Talent X or we let them off the Talent X contract when they they wanted to leave. So it was kind of a little bit different. Um but we had I think the difference between Thomas's and Sway was more Thomas was you guys you were kind of running it all, no? Like you yeah. were doing the brand yeah, no, deal side, no, you were doing yeah, no managers, no agent, nothing. Yeah. Still. Yeah. So like where it was different for us is we had a whole like staff at Talent X that was either having managers assigned to certain talent or uh we had brand deal guys that were doing stuff as well so where thomas was kind of taking that all on in his own we had other people doing that at sway which is just like a different different approach i'm not saying one's better or one's worse it's 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 definitely weird because we but the whole thing with me is that i knew that once these kids grew that they were going to want their own managers, agents, et cetera. Right. Like they're going to want their own team. So I was 100. like, I don't have the resources to fulfill a whole team for all these people, nor do I want to, because I don't want to deal with the backlash that comes with that later when a brand deal falls through when something doesn't work out and then they hate you. I was like, I don't want to deal with this. Like, I like right. these people as friends. I was like, go get your own managers, get your own agents, make your own money your way. This has nothing to do with me. We help build this collective that will help all of us grow and kind of mm-hmm. be like a modern day like Nickelodeon and help push out talent. And it's like so that then was the-, the the natural question is it it seems like based on what you're saying you tried to create a, you know, a frictionless environment where people would come and go. That it's hasn't like been the case. You've had a and we actually we're talking about it a little bit yesterday and I mentioned Daisy Keach was like one of the first people that I saw and I'm like yeah. Who is this TikToker? She was blowing up. I didn't realize the hype house. I didn't realize the beef. So where 
if, if you're setting this up the way you just described, why is why is there this beef that essentially is she saying she created Hype House with you and wanted equity in that brand and you were saying no? Kind of this this comp or this conversation's sticky because we both have signed something saying we're not allowed to speak about each other. So we can't really talk. And it was because she, her team was attempting to sue me, which failed horribly. And then they withdraw. And now we can't talk. So you guys so sign NDAs. So yeah. it, it, it can, right. if you blink twice, is it just to say ownership <laughs> of hype house like that? And what else could it no, be? It was, an, it was an intellectual property suit over. Yeah. Over it. Had, well, you don't have to, it has was, to be. Yeah. Right. But there was, backdated evidence of me and Alex discussing this years before I met Daisy. So that was kind of the problem there. So is there, you, you clearly don't have a good relationship with her, we'd say. Well, I, actually, we fixed it. I, I talked to her about a week ago. Um, it took a long time because during that whole like period yeah, no of kidding. the That's first lawsuit, I've never been sued before or like been through that. And I'm sure that you have been through <laughs> that or some at some point. Um, but yeah, I was, I was horrible. I was like throwing up every day from anxiety every morning. I felt like shit. Like I, I was like never done this before. Just kind of like thrown into a business that I was just like a, trying to have fun and bring people together. That was the whole concept of it. And then quickly I realized like, you have to have a business in place. You have to have equity in these things. set. like, I didn't think about any of that stuff when I started this. Um, so when that happened, it was like really bad, but we worked through it. And like, I talked to her a week ago, and we kind of put everything in the past, which is good. Still can't talk about it though. You should okay. list yeah. those NDAs. It'd be better, better fucking views for this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just that was the drama we wanted. <laughs> yeah. There, that situation, I, I sadly can't speak on anything. So are you saying you were, you're basically the one person that started Hype House? Was there anyone helping you or you're no, no, like I the mean, founder? Chase helped me, Chase helped me a lot with finding talent, especially, but on the business end, like when, when it came time when I was like, Hey, I need your guys' help. If you're going to be like equity partners in this business, like I, I was like, you guys got to help me do this, this, and this. And they were all like, well, we want equity, but we want to go leave and not do anything. And I was like, well, this is where it's not fair. It's like, right. that's a, that's a hard, I to get a, that's a hard, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, that's just not fair. I was like, if you want a piece of this, then you got to do your share. You got to hop on all the meetings. You got to do all the zooms. You got to do all this. And they're like, well, I don't want to do any of that. And I'm like, well, then this isn't, <laughs> this isn't fair then. And Josh, and, I've heard like, I don't want to say you said the same exact stuff, but whispers of deals come through and, and guys are like, well, I, you know, they're happy when the money comes through, but they may not want to sit on the calls and all the things that lead up to the deals. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, Thomas knows this. I think the problem with social media influencers when it comes to the actual entrepreneurial side uh, of like what you can do with social media is these kids are so used to instant gratification, right? Like they blew up so quickly. They blew up overnight. They posted a video. It got millions of likes. So now they're used to every time they post instantly. They see the likes instantly. They see the comments. It's all over for you page. They get a brand deal. They get the money right away, right? They do a post, they're, they're getting paid for it. So then when it comes to something like Thomas is talking about where you're getting equity of the company, that company might not exit or you might not be able to sell your sh whatever for five years, seven years, 10 years, right? But that could be a lot better of a fucking deal taking the equity than the cash right now. And then that company grows and you make a f shit ton of money when it like goes to IPOs or something like that. So kids just don't, they're not used to the long, the longevity or like the long-term play. They're used to that right now, right now, right now. Yeah. What, where, what is the state of hype house right now or heist in general? Like, and again, since I've been doing this, I feel like sway. And that was my introduction to it has kind of gone down. People are going. And I, when I say go down, like people are doing their own things. Yeah. There's not yeah. as much yeah. of the house. Like what, what's and by the, even before I get it, my brain jumps around, where did the name hype house? I have my idea where hype house, the name came from. But it's your house. Where did the name come from? Actually, Alex thought of the name. Alex Warren. We were we were sitting around trying to brainstorm, but it was just literally just because the hype. Charlie had the hype, right? Were, were transferring like there. It was literally people on TikTok were blowing up, and were your whole for you page. It would be like, oh, Josh one day, then Bryce the next day, then Charlie the next. It was like the weirdest thing on the planet. And so Alex was like, why not just the hype house? And we were like, right. that makes sense. Well, that was and, that was kind of like Charlie's coin term too, right? Like she had like she that, had the hype. She had yeah. the hype. 
So yeah, that's like, what I thought it was. Sense. I thought Charlie yeah. had the hype, and that's where it like came from. It like it, it jumped around a lot though. I remember like remember Alex French had it for like a week, mm-hmm. Josh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. it was like it kept yeah. jumping around. Like I remember there was a time where Troy Zarbro was my whole for you page. That's all yeah. I saw. No, yeah, it was a really weird thing. I mean, it went from Charlie. I thought it went to Dixie for a little bit. I feel I like it there was something from Charlie with like, to Dixie to the hype house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But didn't and then that Emma, had that more. French girl had it for like two days or three yeah. days blew yeah. up hit like three million followers in three days and then just like was never to be seen again yeah. Yeah. is that still a thing that goes on now like if you guys were yeah. like who who has the hype like as we're doing this right now like a top three Vinny. like who jumps Vinny, Vinny, Vinny has the hype I Vinny, guess yeah. Yeah. it Vinny, was you know, Sienna after the fight he was like my entire for you page was edits of him and I barely saw Vinny before and I live with him so it's like it, it just there's something that happens when so many people are looking up someone or something is like getting a lot of engagement reacting to their face on TikTok where TikTok's like this is doing well let's boost this. So they just yeah. boost it to everyone. No, 100%. So and I jump. So where would you say like right now the hype for the hype house is? If the hype house at the hype of the hype house with that roster that I just listed like that was you know the golden age of the hype house where's yeah. it right. now? Right. That's a 10. We're, That's a peak. At, where's it at? Yeah. We're at slow point number three so we had insane blow up quarantine hit everyone had to go home so huge drop down engagement fell completely moved to a second house boosted it to the highest we ever had it like hype house was averaging like a million likes on instagram which was insane for a collective group um then it slowed down again we moved again it got a little jump now slowed down again netflix little jump it's just like it, it's just like this and right. part of that is bringing in new talent and working with new people and like just trying to keep it as like a revolving door where so the whole point was i knew that at some point people were going to leave because i was like we're not locking people in they're going to eventually get to the point where they're like i don't need to be a part of a collective group anymore my brand's big enough to where i can be on my own and it's like that first happened with charlie and dixie then it happened with addison but it wasn't everyone kind of looked at it as like oh my god they're leaving and I was like, no, they're they're leaving, but they're moving on to better things. Like that's the whole point of this is to help them get to a point where they can be like, look at how far they've gone. Like I feel like we've put out a pretty crazy group of people from like Avani, Charlie, Dixie, Addison. Whether they were a part of it and then moved on, it's like look how far they've gone, and that's uh, like I'm just proud of them. And that's your selling point, right? To yeah. try to get new talent. Do these people stay? It's almost like I always look. If you watch a uh, like a college football game, you see NFL guys come stand on the sidelines and like. Do, do, does Charlie and Dixie and Addison are they still? Will they still pop in to do like hype house shit? Because that goes a long way, obviously. Um, or are they no. just like I'm over this dude? They're big it's, timing you. I don't know, honestly. I mean, I'm friends with most of the people that have gone. The only people I'm not friends with are the people that it ended badly <laughs> or like where I told them like you have to leave and stuff like that. Um, right. But for the most part, like we're all friends. Obviously they're not going to like promote the merch and stuff when they're not like a part of it anymore or whatever. Cause the people who live in the house help do the branded content, which pays for their rent to live in the house. So it's like, it, it, if you don't live here, then no one has to like, Larry's still a part of hype house, but he doesn't have to do any social posts for it. Cause he doesn't live here. So it's just like people do it for exchange for rent and then every, and then everything else just goes towards legal expenses. Like, do you, do you guys have like, 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 huh? I I was going to say like, do you see a end to the hype house or is it just, you just keep this door rotating with new talent, new talent until you get to the point where it's like, you don't even do social media anymore. You're just managing this, uh, like social media conglomerate. Is that like the end goal or what's the, what's the plan with hype? Um, honestly, I, it depends on how the show goes because the chance of like having the show on Netflix was insane. And like, I worked on that for a year and if the show performs, like I'm hoping that it will, then obviously there's a whole like potential franchise with hype house on Netflix and reality show and building out a brand there. If it doesn't do well, then possibly content, obviously it's not going to last forever. I don't think it depends on how long TikTok's around and how long social media in general is popping like it is right now. Um, but if, as long as there's a revolving door of people coming in, then it will stay around. But until then, right. Are, is there any, I don't want to say resentment because I think what you're doing is 
putting yourself myself in your shoes is pretty stressful like if you lose a star you got to replace them and that's not always the easy thing to do not and being in the all. talent business in general is not an easy thing to do because they the, the, by nature of it you're building these people up to just turn around and leave so it, and then you gotta start the process over is there any level where you look at yourself like man if i just concentrate on myself because you've built or helped propel these gigantic stars and they go off and they're doing all this stuff and you're still grinding find the new talent the netflix show like you said but how do you look at that world it, it's tough because like the there's part of me that does get a little upset about it sometimes and i'm like what am i like why am i spending so much time on these other people but then i feel like it's helping build the brand which like like you said i own which can help me build something that I could potentially one day, it's like the long-term play, like Josh is talking about. It's like, yep. what if one day someone wants to buy Hype House, the name, right? because it's been built for so long and it's been doing so well. It's like, that'd be a nice payday for me one day, but at the same time, like I'm using everything that I have right now to make money, to invest myself so that I'm setting myself for a long-term. Like realistically, I'm not gonna be in this forever. I don't like all I've ever wanted, cause I grew up super broke and like had a bunch of family problems. So my only goal in life was to be able to afford to have kids to where they're not like struggling. And I feel like I've already done that at 22. So it's just now it's just how far you were I thinking about having kids already. My no, God, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> yeah, what are you I, doing? Like, I grew up where <laughs> what are you doing, man? You trying to have I kids right now? Not yet. Not like, yet. It, it's easy. It, I'd like to be able to have my kids have a good life. That's yep. my goal when I have he's them. Gonna, he's going to so, have kids and put them in the hype house right now. Yeah, use it for content. And start a whole new thing. Ironically, a, you're, you're, a lot of the decisions are things that you go through in your mind. I don't know how well you know Barstool, but very kind of similar things with building myself first, bringing in other people, building it. And we got to the point where the Barstool sports name means something. And we're able to sell it. So it is, it, it is an interesting balancing act. Um you got the Netflix show. You know, by the way, that I, 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 you may not know. So my introduction, I became a Little Huddy hater right off the bat because yeah. <laughs> Josh, Josh and Little Huddy had like beef. And then I looked at the way he dressed and I don't get it. I do not get the way the dude dresses, but I want him on the show. I've come to respect as style. I've gotten more style. of it. He, what? I said, it's like his, his, uh. We we talked about it. it's the e boy style. Yeah, like he he has his own little niche. He he can, he's like the only honest, one that can we, do it. We roasted the fuck out of Chase and we lived with him for like, a year. <laughs> and like we, I love Chase, but yeah, it's a weird style. I mean, everyone kind of has. A, I, I know a lot of people with a weird ass style. He rocks um, it though. Can he you get it. him on our show for us? He's like a golden. Right. He's like the the Moby Why doesn't Dick he just to come get on. on the show. I feel like he would never do it. Why? Why? I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. Chase just like also isn't very good at on the spot conversation. Like I think Bryce said it best. He was like, I've never seen someone with 12 million Instagram followers, like not talk this much. <laughs> Can right, you like, like text them or call them and be like, yo, I'm on BFF. So will you like, they want yeah, you, you call on the show. You should face, you should I, face I them think, right now. I don't think he would ever get this on. This is a hard no. <laughs> well, I feel like it's just a, yeah, I feel like it's a hard pass. So what happened? Here's one of your big cons. First, and by the way, so this new uh, the the Netflix. When is that? When is that hit? I don't know. They won't tell me the release date, but I would hope it's supposed to be like early of or like early end of summer, early. I don't know. And now, like we we had Nikita Dragon on the other day. She's in yeah. it, but she's not actually a hype house person. Correct? Yeah. What's yeah, the weird. hype house roster right now? Like, who's actually yeah, in the who, hype house right now? What starting we did was, lineup so when we moved to the second house i had the idea of unfollowing everyone because it was too much of like a oh my god where's charlie oh my god where's chase oh my god where's Yvonne? like it was too much that was all what the comments were is like there's 20 people followed all 20 people need to be in every post and we were like right i was like i'm so over this like direct list of people like it the whole point of this brand is so that people move on and so like there's gonna be people that come in and out so but right now who lives here is me, my girlfriend, Mia, Alex, Cover, Vinny. Um, then downstairs, we have Patrick, Calvin, Papper, who are like Alex's like diehard friends from when they, when he was in Carlsbad and like they started vlogging together and that's how they made it. Um, and like they are, what I've noticed is a lot of the people with clout are like very, very bad on camera, which is weird. But I, me and Alex are very YouTube based. And a lot of like people who are very popping on TikTok 
can't speak like when on like on the spot like they don't have good comedic timing they don't like they don't have the very... charisma they don't have like yeah. the charisma to be in front of a camera they're for used to 15 long. second it's different yeah, sounds. It's yeah very, they've got, they've got that really good 15 second like oh i can do a quick dance or i can like thirst the trap or look or whatever but then yeah. when a camera's put on them they kind of freeze which is weird so like the it's really nice having people like calvin patrick connor who like yesterday we took like little Barbie carts and ran them down our acre and like drove them down. But like anyone with numbers would be like, no, like I'm scared of that. So it's like, it's nice <laughs> having different types of people in the yeah. house. What, what, this is a controversy that happened. What, what went on with the hype, uh, hype house chains, which is, so just to give you, we, I get a list. I get a list of everything yeah, yeah. that has ever gone in the history of hype house. So you guys said you were giving away free chains. They're 20 bucks for shipping. I guess people thought they were getting scammed. What happened there? I mean, I just, it was literally, I was selling chains on my, it was, this was on my YouTube channel. This wasn't even on Hype House. I literally just dropped Hype Chains and I didn't think they were going to do as well as they did. But my, the person I was selling them with was like, I've done this in the past. If you switch it from $20 with free shipping to free with $20 shipping, more people will buy it. Okay. And I was like, there, I was like, there's no way that there's more people will buy it just because it's free and the shipping is the price it worked it did very well i mean i was right. like you're still getting a 20 dollar chain like it's not like so what do you do did you ever say that i like you were you just open like yeah we were trying to like get people to yeah, buy it yeah, I, said, fucking money. I said yeah i'm an entrepreneur i was selling something all right and, <laughs> easy as that is, would you do it comeback. would you do it again that way probably not just because just because the backlash no, just because I wouldn't want my fans to feel like I'm trying to like trick them into buying that. That was where I felt bad. I was like, I was thinking about it purely from like sales perspective. I wasn't yep. thinking of it like, I don't want my fans to feel like they're getting ripped off. I'd rather just put $20 and like be like, just buy it or don't. Got it. Um, <laughs> buy it or die. No, I mean, it, it obviously makes sense. And shipping, uh, like, that's almost, there's always the shipping, the like, Live it's just, it's a it's a, a it's kind of a yeah. it's a yeah, smart sure. move low key a lot it's of people get do it 20 x the amount of people to swipe I, up to go check it that's the thing like it probably brings so many more people to the page just because they see it's free and then they're like uh, yeah oh it's 20 dollars well, and they're like i have a coffee right. company and i was thinking about doing because like i do stickers and i was gonna do them for free with like two three dollar shipping just because they're like free stickers included in a purchase but if you buy them on their own it's a couple dollars right. to ship them but I'm like, I don't feel like that's scammy. I just feel like that's like, there's marketing. Yeah, yeah, that it, one works. Well, if you're looking at purely entrepreneurial, you everything you look at that way, it's like, yeah. is the backlash worth, you know, is the juice worth yeah. the squeeze? All right, yeah. so what are your thoughts? And I know you had beef with Bryce. I don't know if that's squashed at this point. Yeah. Um, it is squashed. So you're just yeah. you're just a beef squasher. You come on this show and every everybody you have an <laughs> issue with, you're, you're going to say the beef is squashed. <laughs> squashed. Daisy, I mean, Bryce. I mean, with Bryce, we we had a big beef. We had beef like multiple times. Oh uh, yeah, it was we like eight heads. months long. Eight yeah. months long. But I also think it's because we we're kind of similar in some ways, which created us to like want to do better. And like he was kind of at one point leading sway, and I was at one point like leading hype. They're competing brands. Like it, it kind of made sense, but with the problem with Bryce, like crossed the line, and then in my head, I was like. This isn't like a beef thing. Bryce looks at things very online. Like, let's throw a boxing match. Let's do that. Like, he's good at selling. He's good at building yeah. hype for things. I'm like, I wanted to go to his house and kill him because he was disrespecting me and my group of friends. So it was like, we came from two very different mindsets. I was like, I don't care about clout. Like, I don't like when people treat my friends like shit or treat me like shit. So then that's where we butted heads on that. And then after a while, I remember we just met up and I was just like, I don't like that you're doing this. And he was like, this is what bothered me. And we were like, well, let's just be men, shake on it and move on. And then we did. And I was like, perfect. How long ago was that? Uh, that was at the last house. That was over six months ago. Okay. What, what was the thing that he crossed the line? I forget. It was just like every time I talked to him, it was just because he's good. He likes like building. He likes stirring the pot to make things entertaining. But like every night he'd be over at our house and then would be at saddle the next night being like, fuck hype house fuck thomas he's a scumbag and i was like you were literally at my house last night like we were hanging out so i was just like that was the part like i hated the two-faced thing and so i just like it started to bother me so much and then and then he said like i took then he said i took a percentage from everyone in hype house and i was like 
this is like very obvious a no like ask any person who's ever been a part of it and then that pissed me off because that like made me look like shit to the internet because people were like wow this kid really is coming in and i was like the whole reason i started this was to not do that and so it made like that's what frustrated me so much josh where were you what was your head when all this was going on so i was there at the beginning because like initially it wasn't thomas and rice beef it was me and chase beef and then that like turned into hype house versus sway beef very quickly and then from that like what thomas was talking about when bryce started kind of like leading sway and being the front runner was when i left so i had left after this point in uh me and Jaden left and moved into apartment and then bryce started kind of taking control of sway and that's when like bryce and it became like bryce versus thomas really like that's when they started going at it so I was a little bit, I was removed from that part a little bit, but when when it was Hype House versus Sway, it was, I think like the team, the matchup was like me and Chase and Thomas and Bryce. And it was kind of like you had those two head, yeah. head to yeah. heads, but I think me and Thomas both kind of were, were very similar, like in how it was like, we took that shit personal more than we took yeah. it like social media numbers. So like when I walked over there one time, I was like, like I, I think Thomas was there, but me and Jaden walked over and we were like, yo, we consider you guys our friends. So like there's this, this and this that they were doing. And we were like, we don't fucking respect that. We would never do that to you guys. In fact, we haven't and told you when that situation was going to happen. So we deserve the same respect because next time we're not going to fucking talk to you when we come over. So like, it was kind of like it was kind of like we, we were pissed off. Right. Keep in mind, so we went too, like, did that. None of this involved me. Like I like no I was no no, there, no. that like, wasn't Thomas he yeah. was just there like being kind of like all right I'm gonna watch make sure my friends are good blah 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 <laughs> yeah. we had that talk and then after that that's when there was like the huge shit night. with the yeah. hype house versus way the paparazzi outside hype house that's when like people were going into the house hopping the fence gate that shit was crazy. keep in mind too that day when all that shit hit the fan when Josh brought up what he did in that conversation none of us knew about it like well, why he hated chase so much none of us in the house knew about it which is why we were so confused and then we were like oh my god we're like this makes so much more sense so but, josh i do you still hate chase or now it's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend type situation i don't know if it's enemy of my enemy is my friend i think it's just like i've just like for moved on from it so much and like forgotten about it and it's like it's also just like I, I think it's I don't give a fuck like and yeah. like there were things I did that were shitty and there were things yeah. that other people did that were shitty. So it's just like at the end of the day, I'm kind of just like, bro, uh, if that was the worst thing that would have happened to me in my life, I would have been happy. So <laughs> I don't really like I don't really think about it like that. Like I'd have Chase on here and be I'd be like totally perfect. Like I wouldn't be like, fuck you, Chase. Blah, 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 blah. I'd be like sitting and joking with him like we're sitting and talking with Thomas. Like I right. wouldn't. I wouldn't care. I feel like where Josh and I are similar with this is like the beef. When you take it to heart and you're actually upset about it, you don't want to go post about it and go make stories about it and go make YouTube videos about it. Like you want to end it because it actually yeah. like bothers us. So it's like, that's how it is for me. Like when I'm actually upset with someone, I need to just get it off my chest so I can move on. Like I hate hating people and I hate people hating me. Like I like just like living my life, like comfortable. What like, would be like the, it, it if you had to guess from the people you've had in the house, in the hype house, what if there was a complaint about you and they're like, this fucking guy, because you seem super nice, what what would their complaint be? What would be the thing True. that they're like, nope, don't believe like what he's saying right here? A little self-deprecation, right? Yeah. I'd say, yeah. I, people would say I'm an asshole. And that's because I am the only person that like, when you run the that business- is going to be that asshole? Like someone is, needs to be the asshole. You know no, what I mean? Like, Someone kind of I mean, needs to be a little bit. I What it is, is like when when I was living, especially with all the people who I used to live with, like in their heads, they were like, hey, let's have 100 people over a day. Let's throw parties. Let's do this. Let's do this. But not thinking about, hey, if we ruin this house, we're going to get sued six months later. Or, hey, if we do this, there's repercussions to that. Or, hey, if the police get called too many times or if then we lose brand deals, then we lose this. Then we lose like they don't see the domino effect. So they just see fun and that's when i would come in and be like no and like if you want to do that then get the fuck out of my house and that's where they, there's definitely been people who do not like that but i've noticed that it never works out later down the road it's like i'm trying to avoid 
the lawsuits. I'm trying to avoid the problems. I'm trying to avoid the brand deals getting dropped. Like I try to avoid all that stuff at all costs because that just stresses me out more. You said so, earlier you had to kick some people out of the house. Who did you have to kick out or tell them to leave? Um, I had to tell the Lopez brothers to leave. Okay. That was one of them. Um, there. there was a girl, Darianka. I had to tell her to leave. And then uh, Daisy. But Daisy was a whole house vote. Honestly, all four were a whole house vote. And everyone voted no, whoever was in it at the time. Um, but yeah, I had to remove the Lopez brothers right when the controversy stuff came out. And I was like, this Smart cannot move. be associated with the brand that I've worked this hard building. Right, because your guys' brand is clean too. Like, yeah. Hypos isn't a, yeah. isn't a like, edgy whenever brand. We heard, whenever we heard about that, we were like, I was like, this, I got to take care of this right away. And like took care of that right yeah. away. And the Darianka thing, that was because I think like, there was a bunch of drama going out about her like talking shit about Charlie and Charlie was kind of like a part of it still, but like overall the time she felt uncomfortable. And I was just like, yeah, I was like, Charlie I can't. says, jump, you jump. That's, yeah. that's, no, the, rule. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the rule of fucking TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie could yell jump right now. I'd jump. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I'd been friends with Charlie for so long. I was like, I don't want her feeling uncomfortable at a house that like, and she's so young and little. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, I just yeah. wanted her to be happy there. So that was that one. And then Daisy, obviously, that one was a big situation in the beginning. And that, that See, the kickout, I know you can't talk about, but that was all around the that's the same dispute, the IP, right? Yeah, yeah, that was that was the main issue there. And then the, yeah, it was just kind of like she was. I, I said all this in my YouTube video, so that that part, like this part, I can talk about. It was just like she was kind of off on vacation, like Bali one week, and then Cancun the next week, and then kind of being like. So what, where's my part? And I'm like, yeah. I haven't seen you in a month. Like I've been doing press right. interviews. I've been doing all the brand deals. I've been scouting yeah. talent. I've been doing all the posts and you're like, where's my percentage, but you're not here. It's the same issue that I ran into with like multiple people when they were like, oh, well I thought, cause I posted three times, like I own Hype House. And I was like, no, <laughs> like, yeah. no. It doesn't work that, like well, that. That's the hard part about mixing like friends and business, business too right yeah. is you get those classes where people are going to start to try to take advantage of you or say oh but i was only gone for like one week bro what do you mean man like it, it just kind of starts and that also battle. if you become a huge star like daisy clearly became you actually theoretically can look at it from your side it's like well yeah i'm away but my one post carries does more, more than, than somebody yeah, who yeah, did a yeah. hundred posts and working their ass off but guess what my one matters more because I'm yeah. so big. So it's but, like a bunch of different ways and, to look on, at it. And on top of that, for like, for example, like Vinny was huge before he moved in here. But so was Av Avani that, was pretty fucking big. Avani was big. Before Avani was, Avani huge. was most huge. of them were like already had their huge careers on their own. But for example, Vinny's the most recent hype house is probably on its slowest point it's ever been at. I'd say all the houses like in general at the slowest point they've been at since they started. Vinny moved in. Then I like helped him get this fight because they reached out to me for me to fight. And then I was like, I'm not interested in fighting Deji. I don't know the kid. I like, like I said, I turned down Bryce because it was personal. Like I didn't want to be like a YouTube boxer. I wanted to, if I were ever to a fight, I wanted it to be a real fight in the future, whatever, blah, blah. And then I was like, how much money, by the way, would you, how much money? Would yeah. You what's take the money? What's fight? the money level? I mean, it real, if realistically, if I had a couple million dollars up front to fight someone, I would fight someone just okay. for entertainment purposes. Okay, but continue. They offered a good bag, but I was just like, it just doesn't fit my brand. It's not who I am. I don't want to fight someone for no reason. But then we talked about Vinny, and then I got Vinny in. Vinny gained 2 million followers on Instagram after the fight. So yeah. it's like, did Hype House help him? Not necessarily, but kind of. Like, without that, he might not have gone in that. And then there was like a be a lot of talk about his name when he moved in and then the Netflix show like yeah. it's brought opportunity to him even though he's already big so it's like that's the cool part about it is like no matter who you are it kind of helps you and then if you're ready to move on you should move on okay uh it makes sense yeah. Brianna we got a game right yeah the game is we, we create game games Thomas. for our guests that's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah would you want them in the hype house so you gotta tell oh, us if you would shit. let them in or if you would let them go Oh God. Bella Porch. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck He's that. Smart right? Move. Smart why move. wouldn't he even I know, isn't this, this is the one I did the duet with? Isn't she gigantic? Why yeah. why wouldn't you want her in the house? Yeah, you couldn't say no to her. Huge. Okay. Jake Paul. 
Yeah, I love Jake. Hell so yeah. what what is that rumor wow. on the sheet? We we glossed over it that you got fired from Team Ten. Why do people say that? So I was Who friends with Jake that? for like I met him randomly at Sammy's camera, and I had been blogging. I blogged for four years, daily blogged for four years, and most people don't know that about me. But I met him two years into it, and he was on day like a hundred, and so we talked about it at Sammy's camera, and then we followed each other on Twitter at the time, and then he DM'd me. And then I was like, hey, like, I'd love to come by sometime and hang out. And then months passed and he was like, hey, you want to come over? And funny enough, he used me as an example. I, I, I always reference this blog I have, but he like talked to the talent in his house and was like, how is this kid who gets 200, 300 views on a video posting more than you guys are when you have the opportunity at your fingertips? Like you have millions and millions of views, hundreds of thousands of dollars at your fingertips and you're not using it. And like yeah. that... There's insane me. similarities between Ins some of the stuff you say and some of the stuff Barstool, like similar shit right. that's said here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like, it's funny how there's so many people who are given this at their, at like literally handed to them and they don't use it. Like, look, I love Nick Austin. He's literally like, I love the kid. He's like a little brother to me. Like I've tried to, I've known him for a while. He's got so much opportunity to his fingertips like dating one of the biggest superstars in the world, being a part of one of the biggest internet collectives, averaging six, 700,000 likes on Instagram photos, and then quitting. It's like, it's weird. It's a, it's weird how people do that. What did he quit for? Is he just going to go to school or like, what's no, the No, no, he plan? just doesn't do anything. Oh, I'm like, just gave up? That's not a like, That's, that's like, actually it, not a he plan. He just doesn't love this. And I'm like, I don't, I don't get it, but I'm not going to force anyone to do anything, but I'm like, it's just weird no, yeah. how you have it here, but you don't do it. I understand how people could get sick of like the social media world, especially these kids that get thrown into it so quickly. Cause it is like you blow up overnight. You're so like submerged into it. And then people get either like mental health gets fucked up or whatever ends up happening. But you gotta have a fucking back. You can't just do nothing. Yeah. Who's Nick Austin? Who's his girlfriend? Madison beer. Madison beer. Madison beer. Oh, who's on the, wait, who's on the shit the list? Who's on the shit the list by the way. Oh, he looks like he's. I saw him at the pool at the one, and he looked like he was like fourteen max. Like maybe a skater that's why bro. he quit because you said that about him. He quit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't quit, but like he's just not active in it and doesn't do anything with it. He got Man. one of the all-time pulls. Like, yeah, that, that's <laughs> yep. tough. That's tough to walk down the street when you're like, oh, that's yeah, gonna I, be our little brother. It might be the. It might be the climax yeah. of his life, actually. That that yeah. never mind getting the fame and fortune. That's that's you. Got to hold on to that. All right. Yeah. Next one. Sh Sherry Nicole Sherry. Addison's mom. <laughs> no, but that's just because. <laughs> <laughs> Hard uh, no, he says. Yeah, I easy just, no. <laughs> just, no, I mean, I love Sherry, but it just doesn't, wouldn't make sense. Okay, no moms allowed. That would help. I mean, everything I've you heard about bunk her, up with she Sherry? just like puts asses in seats. I feel like it would be yeah. funny. It would be a new demographic. Could be funny, yeah. <laughs> She's a, a Barstool fan. She just followed BFFs, Barstool Sports, Dave. She like loves what? She loves no Barstool. Way. On Let's go. Yeah, I, th I think she will Fuck try yeah. to get. We have Addison on a couple of weeks. We'll try to do it. Yeah, maybe she'll come along. Jacob Satorius. Fuck oh, I yeah. Heard this kid, Fuck yeah. I heard this kid Satorius. fucking smokes weed. I Thomas heard this kid smokes weed. No. He's so fucking sick. This kid's <laughs> sick. Like, this kid like burns. I mean, no, no, no. no. I, I was just, I'm just joking around. I've, I've talked to him like a couple times, but. Why do I don't, I, like I don't not like them. kids got like the worst generation? Like I feel oh, like they like they got fucked. Yeah, yeah they, they got did. fucked. They, they got, got the fucked. worst. Year. Like no one respected them. No one cared. Like at least TikTokers have built a little something. A little. Yeah. These kids yeah. get like, shit on. Taking out the Kardashians. Like I mean, like we. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But well, Jacob like, was at. Jacob was at a crazy level. He was dating Millie Bobby Brown. Like, I wouldn't say he was like... I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah like, too. he was massive at one point. He was pulling over, like, one million likes in an Insta photo. Yeah. He, he got into a big thing with one of our guys. Uh, KB was like a wrestler. They wanted to wrestle, and we <laughs> he sent, like, the entire... All our people. I have, like, Jacob Saturus merch. I have, like, sweatshirts and shit. I wear them around. They're not bad. Oh, you're Team Jacob? Oh, yeah. Here it is right here. I could be more on board for this. Jacob's, that's uh, fucking awesome that slap boxing. fifty thousand dollar slap box match <laughs> yeah i'd love to Jeez. see that <laughs> that'd be hilarious who wait, wait 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 who's who's he talking to this is to kb our one of our one of someone KB, that works yeah, here guy works for us said yeah. you a pussy okay. come who do you think would hands. win dave kb I, I i would be rooting for satoris but i mean kb's like 
A twice his age. He's like a grown man. And he's oh, and he yeah, like a yeah, wrestler. Jacob's getting slapped yeah. up. I feel like the music league kids. Yeah, they just like I think the problem was they never branched out of twelve year olds. Well, yeah. Josh is Josh is a music league kid. That yeah, the one of the few that Chase made was it. Chase a music league yeah. kid too. Yeah. Yeah, no, Chase was. Me and Chase knew each other when we both did musically. Like when we were like maybe 16, 15 or something like was that. Was he still dressing like a weirdo? Oh yeah. I thought oh, so, he right, dressed I respect normal. that if you're like I think you I think he like was a weirdo the whole time. Funny enough, I think Josh he might and I have been. talked about Hype House before it was Hype House. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say like me and Thomas cuz it was funny as fuck because when we had that conversation, me and Michael had just started talking about doing our house and I remember we were like, "Oh, what if we just combine the two, right?" So Thomas was talking to me. I think, I think that was like the first night Charlie had come over to your yeah, guys' house yeah. too. No, yeah. And then we were all talking about like what we wanted to do with the houses, whatever. Then it turned into a house rivalry. Yeah, honestly, Damn. probably way smarter. Probably, probably way. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. way smarter. Way smarter. Do you guys ever like kind of look around and just be like, I know you're so far in it, it may be hard to step out of it but when you talk about me and josh talked about doing the house beforehand and charlie came over and addison's the amount of people that have been spawned like from this world where apparently you guys knew each other forever yeah i mean i took pictures of josh at uh knott's Berry farm yep. josh blake like all these people like before and i remember seeing like the amount of fans at that time at knott's Berry farm was unreal and that was before it even got started like that was before. That's also because we just ball. came off, we just came off Lights Out tour after that, right? We yeah. just came off our tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we were like, I probably had a seventh of my following, like, at that time. You and know what's insane? You know what is not good for BFF podcasts and people like myself? I feel like we're in a cooling era right now. I don't know if you feel that, Bree, but like all the animosity and the rivalries, I, there's none They're that dying. Like, jump mm. out to me right now, yeah. right? Yeah, there's no yeah. there's no drama, really. It's boring. It's yeah, really I mean, we boring. did just come off of the spice guy it stabbing tires at our podcast, Dave. I don't I know how I guess that was been. crazy, but that was different. That was like fight That's world. true. That, that, that Jake has moved, though, into like the box. I, I look at him legitimately now like, boxer over anything okay. else me too uh, i look well, at him wait, and wait, logan, wait, wait. are like, we in they, summer right him now him and logan are the two people i view who have made it in social media yes fully they're, like, they're not Jake, going logan, anywhere and sean mendez are the three that like have made it from social media well yeah bieber, well i mean it depends how far like even you could go back like bieber was like a youtube yeah. guy really but, like so. yeah Bo burnham I, or like some of the comedians that have oh. come out like there's people like that but I feel like my whole goal from this is to be able to get to like that level where it's like, I did it. Like I did right. it for a while. I made it. I'm good. Like that. That's my, I would goal. say Dave that you did that Dave. You did that. Yeah. 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 I, it, I don't know how people describe like I, we're a newspaper to start and then like blogging before social media, but yeah, the internet for sure. We're like, I always say we're the oldest digital media company in the universe because we started so. like as it went. Mm -hmm. So all right. Uh, anything else? It was a good interview. Interesting interview. For a fucking I, great interview. Yeah, got a lot of insight. Yeah, I'm curious to see that. How do? How have you seen any of the Netflix show? Yeah, a little bit. So, how realistic would you say it is? Realistic, but I, I can't really get a full grasp because I've only seen like ten minutes of it, and there's going to be eight thirty-minute episodes. So right, so like, you don't know how to I, cut it and shit. You don't I know would, if they cut it differently. I have to yeah, watch yeah, it all, yeah, because yeah, I don't know, and they can't really show me, even though I'm a producer on it because it's like conflict of interest because they don't want me to be like hey i want you to cut this or portray like, you a certain way yeah so i'm right. like i but i was like i just want to watch it because i want to know if it's good or not <laughs> like that's right, all I right, care right. About. yeah yeah <laughs> they're keeping you in the dark Jeez. yeah, yeah. that's well, kind of scary a little bit <laughs> it's terrifying they could portray you however Even they there want was cameras there was cameras installed in our house for 10 weeks just nonstop. Right. What if you yeah, were like, it's like old school stop. MTV, like real world yeah. type shit. Yeah. In your bedroom? Yeah. Big brother, however you want to do it. They can cut it any way they want. That's was wild. it in your bedroom? No, just just main uh, kitchen, oh, okay. downstairs, outside. I was say, how are you like jerking off and no, 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 other no. stuff? <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was interesting. I found it super interesting. I appreciate you coming on. Everybody, make yep. sure you check out the show. And uh, wait, another one, episode. one more thing. We didn't quite finish the game, and it gets a little bit interesting with oh, the Hype House game. So let's oh, let's just re no. You guys got on the Sartorius thing, and then but, okay. but there, okay. it gets more interesting. So there's only a, a few more. Okay. 
Zoe Laverne. <laughs> oh God, no. Yeah. <laughs> the oh, hardest pass funny. ever. Hard yeah, pass. Yeah. Why was that such a hard pass? She dated a 13-year-old. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. Can't, can't do that. that. Nope. <laughs> this girl nope. dated a 13-year-old? How old is she? Am I wrong 19? or am I right? She dated like a... No, you're right. Yeah. Dave, we talked about this on the pod. Remember, we were like, yo, that guy yeah. probably went to school and was like, guys, I got a She's pretty. What are you doing? All right, gross. Next. Yeah. Bryce Hall. Um, yes, but legally it would be a nightmare, but yeah. I was going to say that's a liability. And <laughs> that is a liability. a liability, but yeah. That's like hold the- your breath, pray. You're, the hype house is going to have so many views, so much thing. There's going to be so much controversy. Same and with Jake Paul, just, though. Hopefully you just come out the other side with the hype house still in one piece. Yeah. Yep. Mads Lewis. No. No? Why? No, it, wow. Only because of same drama. Like, there's good drama and there's bad drama, and I've known Mads for freeze? a long time, and no. Well, like, I, we froze. What's the drama with her? No, no, I love Mads. Like, I've known her for a really long time. She's sweet. But, like, like I don't know. I've just seen some things with her back when she was, you know, dating who she was. And, like, I saw things in person where I was like, I couldn't deal with this in person. Too much drama. Yeah. Too much yeah. drama. Josh. Oh, this guy's fucking <laughs> yeah. sexy. Gotta let yeah, Josh in. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Fuck yeah. Uh, throwing me in there? Free chicken fry? I could come I mean, chicken fry. <laughs> I mean, what's she going to say? No, it'd be super rude. You're right here. Yeah, yeah I guess you just have I don't to know. say I don't, yes. I don't know. I've never seen your social media or anything. Yeah, you could check it out. I wouldn't fit the brand at all. I would get you guys Free in trouble. Fry. So kick me out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, last one. Last one, Dave. Uh, Yeah, sure. You wow, I mean, that was like reluctant. Again, what's he going to do? Say no? I would never live like, in a house. Uh, I, I, uh, f- Please. I have enough problem. My gas fucking tries to sleep over my house every night. <laughs> enough of that. I could never fucking. You don't, you don't like cuddling up with Kareem? Yes. You don't love cuddling with Kareem, Dave? Please. Please. Kareem, too. Another one. I, every time I have a place, people are inviting themselves over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it for the game. Appreciate uh, yeah. it. Thank you. Nice meeting you, man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming on, Thomas. Right, take care. Later, Josh. Peace.